the Church of Realology, Real, Hitler, and the Hollow Earth. Did Hitler use a hidden universal energy source known as Real to escape World War II to the hidden Antarctic entrance to his underground Aryan kingdom inside our Hollow Earth? This is what Bipin Timri, guest writer, writes. Buckle up, this is a wild one. You would be forgiven for never having heard of the Church of Realology, and their beliefs can be most kindly described as fringe, quote unquote. In an unholy mishmash of alternative theories, they have concluded that a universal power source called real surrounds us and can be tapped into through meditation of all things. Others have used this as a springboard for the theory that Hitler survived World War II and is the leader of the utopian civilization in the heart of our hollow earth. And there's a lot to unpick here. Apparently the story surrounding Hitler's escape in the, to the center of the earth has is uh, not just a theory but a full-blown belief, as are all such theories which fall short on evidence. The connection between beliefs underlying the Church of Realology and associated theories about Hitler's escape must start with an understanding of the Church itself. Just what exactly is going on here? So how did Hitler escape, presumably? The foremost concern about Hitler escaping to the center of the earth to create an advanced say, race of Aryans is the possibility of someone like him being alive. Did Hitler escape through the rat lines as used by many Nazi war criminals as Berlin fell? The US Secret Service even had a sketch of how Hitler would have changed disguise to escape. For now, we can be assured that he is not around. However, most theories assume that if he did survive, he escaped to Argentina, but not these guys. The next crucial part of the story about his escape is the center of the earth, quote unquote. Many proponents of the hollow earth theory have pointed out the possibilities of advanced civilizations living inside the core of the earth. The Church of Realology draws its foundations from a supposed encounter with one of the civilizations. The person who first told of this advanced civilization which relies on Vril, an energy source, was Edward Bulwer-Lytton, an English politician and Secretary of State for the colonies. He laid the foundations for the Church of Realology. He published a story, the story of Vril in 1871 in his novel Vril, The Power of the Coming Race. Apparently he had intended it to be a fictional pot boiler with hollow earth fantasies like Jules Verne's and H.G. Wells. The views of Edward Bulwer-Lytton in his book were seized upon by nativist German cults such as the Thule Society. Some accounts also suggest that it was the real society that had fueled Hitler's rise to power. Two French authors had also referenced that Nazis were experimenting with real for building UFOs in a book published in 1960. Such theories prompted rumors that Hitler fled to Antarctica where the entrance to the interior of the hollow earth is, and according to claims, and went to the center of the earth with the real powered underground Aryan race. The Church of Relology, the Church of Relology located in New Jersey, is the ultimate manifestation of these alternative beliefs, while the advanced Aryan race and Hitler escaped to the center of the earth story might not be a central part of their mythos, it's important to note that this church believes in the power of the real. Apparently, the Church of Relology has backed away from their stranger claims in recent years. It does not believe in an external infinite power source like real in terms of its practical applications. On the other hand, the cult's belief primarily defies real as a life force channeling within all of us. Well, seems like an upgrade over yoga or meditation, doesn't it? However, the beliefs of the Church of Realology also imply that the lost science of Realology was mastered by the ancestors of the Indo-Europeans in the original of the, or the original Aryans. Apparently, the Aryans had inherited the knowledge of Realology from gods, quote unquote, so that they could master the world and become a race of superhuman. However, the Aryans messed up and fueled an ecological imbalance which led to the great biblical flood. 
The Church of Rheology also believes that ancient advanced science was lost with the civilization of Atlantis because, of course, they do. The Church of Rheology explains the value of real with reference to dark matter, drawing upon the references of science, they note that matter and energy could only account for 5% of the total universe. Therefore, the remaining 95% of the universe has some mysterious and infinite power source that they could tap into. This is their real, happily piggybacking on modern theoretical physics. The Church of Realology explains that real is a universal force any individual can harness through chanting, meditation, and visualization. Some of the proponents of Rheology have also cited examples of Nikola Tesla experimenting with methods for harnessing real energy. Interestingly, real could also power anti-gravity propulsion mechanism and use it as an endless uh, source of energy. It seems the real is everywhere. Why a church then? So if real is aligned with current scientific theory, why does it need a church? It would seem that the religious aspect comes to the fore in teaching how to tap into this energy source. Realology also emphasizes channeling real as the life force within an individual's body through meditation, chanting, and visualization. Channeling this universal energy force within the body alongside tapping into the potentially infinite source of dark matter and energy. The connection between realology and Hitler's hiding place for the last 80 years is less obvious and there does not seem to be a rational explanation for the connection. Only time could say whether Hitler might come back from the dead with an army of superhuman Aryan warriors and UFOs, perhaps he already has. The conspiracy theories about the lost land of Atlantis, hollow earth and superhuman races residing among us would always serve as interesting scoops for articles for now, you must understand that the Church of Rheology does not believe in Hitler's escape to the center of the earth. For those who would look further into the Church of Rheology, however, be aware their views should come with a health warning. Many of their future predictions come out of an outmoded colonialist view of the world and espoused a combination of the, fa fa the failure of developing countries and the U.S. inviolability and they seem to fear immigration and send some, and some use the church as a smoke screen, screen for deep prejudice. So you must proceed with caution. This is by Dipin Dimri, and it's on Collective Spark. Uh, please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.